Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Jay Bass Show. I am your host, Jay Bass, alongside my co-host, Mr. Lucky. What's up, players? What's good? And uh, we're pretty excited about today. This is our first podcast. And joining us today, we have a couple of friends with us. Uh, our graphic designer, Shorty. Hey! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> hey. Is she a person or is she a cat? And then we have our... <laughs> <laughs> and then we have our editor, my girlfriend, Myra. Hello, hello. And then we have my cuz. What's up, bro? What's going on? <laughs> so, hey, just so y'all know, I ain't do shit. <laughs> I'm worthless in this motherfucker. He's just here oh. for moral support. Moral support, <laughs> clearly. Better than maybe everything here. Oh, yeah, pizza yeah. delivery as well. I mean, so. pizza would have not been possible without your own. That's right. That's right. That's the core that we. Never mind, we're not using it. <laughs> but, so this is the group, man, and uh, this is going to be the team that is going to be helping us and putting the podcast together for you guys. Uh, Lucky, tell the people a little bit about yourself, man, how you, you know, became an entertainer. Uh, I got I got famous through Snapchat. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's my thing. Shout out to my fans in Japan, you know what I'm saying? So I love. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. Music, man. Music is uh, something I love, something I've been doing the majority of my life, and uh, I still continue to do today. So I'm um, a producer, musician, composer, anything and everything I got to do with music. You know what I'm saying? I get up in the mix. All right, and Shorty, you do graphics for us, and you're gonna be working on our website and eventually once that comes designs. around. Yeah. So I went uh, to U of H and I studied digital media, and um, with that came photography. So I was shooting the photos earlier. I do a little bit of logo design, graphic design, website. So it's everything all incorporated into one. So I'm kind of far there, but bam. And Those don't have to be fixed later <coughs> by Mr. Lucky over there. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> only, only she puts the Eiffel Tower behind us. Right. So I'll Photoshop it in there. <laughs> and Myra, what's up? What's up? <laughs> what? I'm the editor because I guess I'm just good with words or something. I don't know, but like uh, that's how she met Julio. Yeah, that's a beautiful incident. Edit his life. <laughs> like, <laughs> right, so I'm, I'm pretty sure we all know why we're here, but uh, our, the listeners probably don't know. So maybe you could tell us, why did you decide to start the podcast? Uh, I got a message from God one day. Did you say from God? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> well, I just feel like we usually, you know, we're in a group text message for people that don't know. And uh, we usually have some pretty interesting conversations, whether it's about religion, politics, or just random shit. You know, whether is the earth really flat, or is I don't know. I just come up with stupid shit sometimes, and and we make a long ass conversation out of it. So I just feel like you know we can get other people involved and see what other people think, and entertain them, and maybe find answers to questions that need answers. So one day, I was just chilling at work, bored. Shout out to my managers that are listening. I was actually working. I was not just bullshitting. I haven't worked in the past three weeks, by the way. It's been fucking up. But uh, anyways, I was like, you know what? Uh, the whole Jay Bass thing and the whole idea of politics and stuff that stuff like that came up about three years ago when the whole Sandra Bland, or maybe two years ago, when the whole Sandra Bland thing came about, uh, made a page on Facebook about it. But I only kept up with it for about two weeks or so, and then I just kind of gave up on it. So that day I was like, you know what, we can make a podcast and speak about these topics. So I text uh, my girlfriend, uh, she's not here right now, she's probably on tour, Kim Kardashian, I'm sure y'all know her. Um, <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, no, so, don't, don't talk about my best friend. <laughs> I love you. If you don't, I do. <laughs> nah, so I text my girlfriend, I was like, you know what, I want to do a podcast. And she's like do it and i was looking for like support but not like that direct i was like well, shit why not yeah just... but that's what i do though like yeah when you want to do something do it like don't make excuses i wasn't waiting for you to make an excuse but it's just like 
Yeah, yeah. So don't it, think about it too much. it's like that's what I needed to hear. It was like, do it. I was like, fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I started thinking. I was like, well, I already have everything that I need. I got the mics. I got the computer. And I was like, well, I need to have a co-host. Who can I have as a co-host? And I was like, shit, Mario. If anybody knows, well, people from Hipster obviously know Mario. I mean, Lucky, Mr. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, no, Lucky. Yeah, don't give out government. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I was on the radar until now. <laughs> Social security number 6353. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stay off the grid. Yeah, but... <laughs> nah, so I was like, man, this one fucks a character on Snapchat. Let's be a fucking character for the podcast and make this entertaining educational sort of but mostly entertaining you will make people laugh and you know hopefully make your mornings every every time you listen to it now like, okay now i need a graphic designer and uh my bad to gmx but i was gonna hit up my old graphic designer from when i was doing music and i was like you know what fuck that let's keep this like in a circle of the people that i actually fuck with and that's how shorty came about now like, okay then, now that i have them all in mind let me text them and see if they're down and uh here we are. Day yeah, one. Podcast number one. I think like as soon as he hit me up about, hey, I need a, I need a logo. I, I was at work and I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lie. I was more shit in that work. Twiddling. Yeah, I was literally <laughs> twiddling my thumbs. And, and like I tell everyone, they're like, you can't be on your phones. But as soon as Julio hit me up, I was on my phone. I was like, oh, what's up? And, um, what's Julio? <laughs> J-Vaz. put some respect on it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We're just giving out. But as soon as, <laughs> but as, soon as uh, J-Vaz hit me up. Hey, no, me, I don't want to be called J-Vaz. Yeah, I, I know. It's weird. Bears. I want my name blinked out. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, Whenever I hit up. Um, <laughs> no, I was at work. And as soon as he told, he said that he needed a logo. I was like, all right, well, let me get let me get home first. And then we'll talk about it. But we were on talking for like two hours through text it's just the first day and i sent her like the best ever hand oh those sketches <laughs> sketch. i was like this is exactly how i want it i think if, if i would have sent her that she would have never came up with such a good logo <laughs> and what i should have done was i should have done it exactly like i should have uploaded this sketch <laughs> and then just done it exactly the way he we did. would still be like not even getting started yet we would still be working on the logo <laughs> that's funny. No, but uh, when I was when I was working on the logo, uh, Raul got home from work and he was like, "What are you working on?" And I told him Julio's idea, and he was just like supporting me, supporting you. Yeah. So yeah, that was pretty cool. See, I'm telling you, that's so important. If it wasn't there, then how would you have got the logo? Then? Yeah, without his support. But that logo was frustrating though, because he was just like, oh, "It's gonna be something was, simple," and then to I me was it was like, "Simple," but then. It's like the more you did to it, the more ideas came to mind. I was like, oh, we can add this, we can add that. And then that would delete, we basically deleted half of the stuff we came up with, the speakers on the side. Oh my God, yeah. It was and, a headache, yeah. but it, we got it done. And like, I think when I, when I I thought that I had the final logo, I went to one of my coworkers and I was like, I, I feel like we both felt like there was something missing, we just didn't. And then we got that that final piece that worked. And J Bass came about my name. Follow me on Facebook, J Bass. First initial, last name. Not too much thought into it. Your last name is Vaz? Yes. Oh. Your last name yes, is Vaz? That's my government yes. name again. You <laughs> 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 got the whole name. You give me my address, social security <laughs> number. That's and uh, so that's that's how we all got involved, man. And yeah. And then, of course, you know, you being supportive, you know, you do fix my errors on Facebook. Yeah. That's what kind of supporting you. And your life too, though? Huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, I bought this shirt because she wanted me to wear something professional looking. Nice. Oh, is I it a nice shirt? It, it is a nice shirt. shirt. I wanted to wear shorts. I got here and I was like, damn, I didn't know we were supposed to, you know, yeah, he was gonna dress up formal. <laughs> yeah, I was going to wear shorts. Yeah, no. Dang. No, but Myra is just that type of person. She's just a supportive ass person. Yeah. I like to see the, the best. She's kissing ass. <laughs> I mean, she's my best friend. Would she yeah. be my best friend if I wasn't supportive towards her? Would I be your girlfriend if I wasn't supportive towards you? Probably not. Exactly. Exactly. I do what I do, and it works. So, mm -hmm. so Lucky, what's up with you? What do you want to know, bro? What do I want to know? Or what do the listeners want to know? Yeah, what I mean, why did... Yeah. Call us right now, 979. <laughs> like, <laughs> but we got lives. Hey, but I mean, he he chose you to be his. his yeah, why did you choose? Why did you choose me again? He said you're a character. He, he said, said you're, you're a character. Fans of Japan. You're a character, and I mean, at the end of the day, I trust all of y'all. I feel like, you know, if I have an idea, I feel like I can trust y'all to 
you know, give me the feedback. Mm -hmm. So, initially, when Julio let me know about the show, he thought I was bullshitting. I, I didn't know. I was like, man, is he being for real? Because he asked if I was almost finished with my motorcycle. Yeah. And I was like, damn, I guess he wants to see it in person. So then he's like, oh, because I didn't even do on his podcast with me. And I was well, like, what I asked was, hey, how much longer before you get done with your bike? And I can feel the excitement in his answer. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, bro, like two, three weeks. Why do you want to see it? Do you really want to see it? Dang. Right, that's what I thought. He's like, oh, okay, because uh, I need you to jump on the podcast show with me. I was like, oh, okay, okay. Well, uh, I didn't know what to think about it at first. Uh, like, excitement, but at the same time, uh, one of my biggest uh, weaknesses last year was time management. So I was like, well, fuck. I got to figure out how to make some time for this. And for people that are not listening, there's been like three times already in the past week when he hasn't showed up. So it's still a weakness in 2018. No. <laughs> I need a manager is what I need. <laughs> On blast or what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that shit. I don't know if I want to do this podcast. <laughs> just out. Man, you don't want to this. Uh, Wait, he's like, that's so why I didn't show up. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but is this what you're going to do to me all the time? <laughs> Am I like the Chakal of the show or something? He's been a bully him the whole time. Continue on. Oh, I've been on That's my job. I'm the bully. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, I thought it'd be a, a great great thing to do, something to try out, uh, check it out, and see how many listeners we can get to tune in, because uh, definitely uh, something that, that can, can grow. Um, but yeah. Awkward moment of silence. Awkward moment of silence. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the, I think the worst thing though, honestly, to get get used to is uh, to keep on going with the subject and to minimize using things like yada 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 or blah blah blah. Well, I mean, I, I know I don't talk perfect English, but yada 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 never comes out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> or even blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah I, I I use blah 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 a lot. It sounds stupid as shit too. <laughs> think about it like, fuck, oh, I could I could have said something else. Yeah. <laughs> Can we go back and record last year's episode? Why the fuck did I say that? No, nah, but um, to continue, I, I have a, I just have a topic because yeah. we were we were talking about it earlier and um, in our group text, or I think it was on Facebook where he tagged you and he was like, "Hey, when the rodeo lineup comes out, he was like, let me know so you can buy tickets." And I got all excited because I was tagged in it and I was like, oh, "Hell yeah, he's gonna buy his all tickets." <laughs> but <laughs> Donald Trump's great words, wrong, <laughs> wrong, wrong. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> That's not what he meant. That's funny. No, but I do want to get y'all's input on that rodeo lineup. Um, so, because I know it just dropped. So, so myself, I live about forty-five minutes from Houston, but we are in the Houston area. And every year, there's a Houston livestock show and rodeo for anybody that might be listening that's not from the area. And uh, it comes every February to yeah. Yeah, like February, March, February, February, March, February, March. Yeah, but it's it's the biggest rodeo. From what I hear, I haven't been to any other rodeo. <laughs> so. I heard that too. Like Bro, a lot of uh, cities have like livestock show and rodeos, but it's not as big or as last as long as. Does, does anybody have the lineup? Biggest rodeo uh, in the world. And uh, anybody that follows me on Snap knows that I'm at the rodeo like all the time. I do volunteer at the rodeo, so I tend to humble brag. Nah, not at all. I'm at the rodeo all the time. No, no, I didn't mean it like that. No, it's just, he, it's he for good. He made it just <laughs> yeah, like that. I think you're on one of the committees, right? I'm on a committee, so. But me and Myra wanted to join the committee. When was it last year? Yeah. And we were like, okay, oh, wait, wait a minute. We got to pay to be on it. Oh, yeah. hold on. You ain't going to pay me. Nah, I don't know, man. <laughs> no, it's all about your work. No, it's yeah, all about your work. Yeah. But it's great. It's, it's really, really good. Uh,